let's graph these two equations on the same grid. Okay, so the first equation is x, y is equal to x over 2 plus 1. The second equation is x over 2 minus 1. Now, the best way is, or the easiest way is to uh, find some points and plot it. So I'm going to make a column for x, y. y has been defined as x over 2. This is x divided by 2, x divided by 2 plus 1. So I can take any value of x, and then you need to find the corresponding value of y. And we write the coordinate. Okay. So as it's divided by 2, I'm going to take uh, even numbers. Uh, so let's start with, say, negative 6. Okay, now before I start, so let me explain. In some books, the same thing can be given as y is equal to half x. This is same as writing half times x plus 1. Or this, the same thing can also be written as y is equal to half of x is same as 0.5x. So I'm showing you different ways of writing the same thing. So this is x over 2 plus 1. This and this are the same, and this and this are also the same. So these three are different expressions. So let's, this means x divided by 2. So let's do without a calculator. So this is negative 6 divided by 2. You should be negative 6 divided by 2. Oops, my pen is not working. Negative 6 divided by 2 plus 1. Okay, which is negative 3 plus 1. And negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So the first coordinate is negative 6, comma, negative 2. When x is negative 6, y is negative 2. So let's take, say, negative 4. If you take negative 4, uh, negative 4 divided by 2 plus 1. I'm going slowly so that you understand. So first you have to divide and then only you can add. So this is negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So what are we saying? When x is negative 4, y is negative 1. Okay, what else? So let's take, say, directly jump to 0. If it is 0, it is 0 divided by 2 plus 1. So 0, nothing divided by 2 is 0. So this is 0 plus 1, which is 1. So the coordinate is 0, comma, 1. So let me take one more point. So let's take, say, 4. If you take 4, it will be 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So the coordinate is 4, comma, 3. So let's pl plot these points first. So negative 6, negative 2 is this point. This point is negative 6 here. Always start at the origin and you're going, negative 6 means from the origin you're going 6 to the left and negative 2 means you're going 2 down. The first number tells you that you're going to the left or right. If it's negative, it's to the left and if it's positive, you go to the right. And the second number tells you whether you're going up or down after going left or right. So this means from the origin, I'd go 4 to the left and 1 down. So this is the next point. The next point is 0. That means you don't have to go to the right or left. That means you be at 0 and you go 1 up. Okay. And then you're going 4 to the right and 3 up. Okay. Now these, these four points, if you draw a dotted, or if you draw a line, it'll be a straight line, okay? So, and we write the equation on top of the line. So the equation of the line is y is equal to x over 2, x over 2 plus 1. So I, want, I would like you to pause the video and try to graph this yourself. Okay, so let me, those who have done it, so I will cancel this whole thing and start with the next graph. 
So now the equation has changed. This is x over 2 minus 1 x over 2 minus 1. So let's start uh, let's say negative 4. Okay, if it's negative 4, it's negative 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So first using bed mass, you have to divide and then add. So which is negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So when it's x is negative 4, y is negative 1. So let's say take 0, directly 0. So it'll be 0 divided by 2. Take away 1 or minus 1. 0 take away 0 divided by 2 is 0. Take away 1 is negative 1. So when x is 0, y is negative 1. And let's take 2. So there'll be 2 divided by 2 plus, sorry, take away 1. So this is 1 minus 1, which is 0. So when x is 2, y is 0. So let's plot these points. The first point is negative 4. Oh, I made a mistake here. Okay, what's the mistake? This should be negative 1. This is negative 1, so this is also negative 1. It's always good to check okay so this is take away one okay so you have to take away one so this is negative three so this will be negative four negative three so negative four negative three this is four to the left and three down so this is the first point you need basically three or four points when x is zero y is negative one so this is negative one and when x is 2, y is 0. So this is 2, comma 0. And let's join the points with a straight line. Okay, so one thing that you can see very clearly here is, I want to show you, so the equation of the line is, so let me write the equation first. So this is x over 2 minus 1. So there are many things you can see here. But one thing that you should be able to see is the lines are parallel. The lines are parallel. Okay, so I want you to think how, what makes the line parallel. And if you look at this point, so let me use a, so for this point, this is passing through 1, and can you see a 1 here? And this line is passing through negative 1 here, and here you can see a negative 1 here. So, there's something which affects the slopeness or the steepness of the graph. Okay, I'll come to that later, which is called gradient. So again, let me, for those who, uh, this, if you want to write this in a different way, this is the same as writing y is equal to uh, x. This is half of x times, you can also write this as half of x minus 1. Or you can also write y is equal to 0.5x minus 1. They all mean one and the same thing. So you should know different expression of the same equation. Okay, let's move on. So I would want you to do this yourself. So here the same thing, you do x, y, write the equation which is x divided by 3 plus 1. And I'll write c for coordinate. So now as you're dividing by 3, I'll take numbers which can be divided by 3. That means the multiples of 3. So I'll take, say, negative 6, negative 3, 0, and 3. And then you can use this for both, uh, for this equation and this equation. Again, you will find one interesting thing. These two lines would be parallel. Okay. Now this is slightly different, y is equal to 4 minus x and y is equal to negative 1 minus x. So yeah, this can be a bit tricky. So let me write, so you've got x, you've got y, which is 4 take away x. And I'll write c for coordinate. So let's start with say negative numbers, so it's negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. So when x is negative 2, y is 4 take away negative 2. 4 take away negative 2. 
We're taking away negative means we're adding. So this is 4 plus 2, which is 6. When x is negative 2, y is 6. When it's negative 1, it is 4, take away negative 1, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5. So when x is negative 1, y is, when x is negative 1, y is 5. Okay, if it's 0, it's 4, take away 0 which is easy, which is 4. So when x is 0, y is 4. And when x is 1, so that is simple, 4 minus 1, which is 3. So it's 1, comma, 3. So let's plot it, plot the points. Negative 2, 6. So this is this point here. Okay, this is this point. Negative 1, you go 1 to the left and 5 up. Okay. And 0, that means you're not going to the right or left, and you're just going 4 up. You're going 1 to the right and 3 up. And if you join these points, you get a straight line which is sloping, which is, let me highlight this, and this is the line. So let us drag this up, down, and this is the equation. So this has called, this is sloping down from left to right. So I want you to think what makes this going down from left to right. So the equation is 4 minus x. Okay, and uh, I want you to see this point is interesting. As I told you, this is passing through 4. And can you see a 4 here? Okay, in some other books, you may have the same equation written like this. This can also be written as y is equal to negative x plus 4 negative x plus 4 or 4 minus x are the same. Okay, so let me do the next, uh, let me highlight the whole thing and delete it. Okay, so now the equation has changed. y is equal to uh, negative 1 take away x. So let's again start with negative 4, uh, negative 2, 0 and 2. So, yeah, this would be like this. So y is negative 1 take away x. So this would be negative 1 take away negative 4. And this is where you need to be good in integers. Or if you're struggling, you can use a calculator. So this is negative 1 plus 4. Take away, taking away negative means adding. And negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Okay, so when x is negative 4, y is 3. When it's negative 2, it's negative 1, take away negative 2. So taking away negative means you're adding, which is negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. When x is negative 2, y is 1. When x is negative 2, y is 1. When it is 0, it's negative 1, take away 0, which is negative 1. So 0, comma, negative 1. And for 2, it'll be negative 1, take away 2, which would be negative 3. Those who are struggling with uh, integers, you can use a calculator. There's nothing wrong in using a tool if you're struggling. So our focus is not to add or subtract integers. Our focus is to graph. So negative 1, 3 is a point here. I'll do this faster. Negative 2, 1. And 0, comma, negative 1 is here. And 2, comma, negative 3 is here. Again, if you join these points, you'll get a straight line. Okay, so let me join the points properly drag it to this side and this is a straight line. Again, can you see here the lines are parallel. So the equation is y is equal to negative 1 take away x. And one thing that I need, I want you to observe is it's passing through negative 1. And can you see a negative 1 here? Okay, so 
I want you to do uh, make up your own questions and try to do yourself and practice this, this 